Tonight, some local pastors want people in schools to pray. They have faith that prayer can solve the problem of violence in schools. The conversation has been thrust to the forefront after the school shooting in Florida. Chinuher explains how a group of local pastors is taking a lead role here in Hampton Roads. Well, guys, these church leaders have big ambitions for the future. Tonight, they held their first meeting in Chesapeake to talk about the importance of prayers in school and what they plan to do once they gather enough support. We cannot stay silent any longer. In front of peers, Orlando Good Hope. Young children are being killed and murdered in schools. Brought out his message following the school shooting in Parkland, Florida. Prayer is needed. It's absolutely needed. This will complete the discussion. We have to have the spiritual side of what made America great. Pastors from other churches joined his discussion at the Chesapeake Christian Center about bringing prayer back into schools. In 1962, the Supreme Court ruled school sponsored prayer in public schools is unconstitutional. The majority held that school sponsored prayer violates the establishment clause of the First Amendment. We're asking other spiritual leaders to join us and our, uh, our attempt to go forward to remove that, um, that law. We believe that the solution, the answer, is prayer in our schools. Pastor Marvin Duke sat with Good Hope following the Florida tragedy, thinking of what they could do, eventually landing on this community discussion. We believe that gun control and background checks are good, but they don't address the, the root of the problem, which is spiritual. And so the effort that you guys are, are, are speaking about tonight, does that apply to other religions as well? Absolutely. We, we, we want prayer. The prayer protection is for everyone. Protection and defense, they think, doesn't have to wait until after the tragedies. All right, so from here, these pastors hope to gather petitions and hopefully catch the attention of some lawmakers. They'll continue to have these meetings once a month at the Chesapeake Christian Center.